What is up guys, this is David from Asian with Hat over here and uh, this is kind of a pro tip for you guys. Um, so some of you guys uh, wonder about my audio that I use in my Hero 2 or my helmet cam or my GoPro helmet. Um, this is uh, my setup. So uh, with my Hero 2, I use something called the uh, Edutige or something like that. It's a E-D-U-T-I-G-E and it's the uh, model number is like the ETM-001 and uh, this is all it is. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, that's what it is. It's about forty dollar mic. It's about um, it's about like the length of my thumb, like half my thumb. Ser uh, like in all honesty, um, it's forty dollar mic. Uh, it's better than most mics that that I tried in the past before for my GoPro. And uh, for just the price of forty dollars, this mic is probably better than the mic that's on my T uh, three I. I'm actually uh, I actually use this in my T3i um, every once in a while. Um, in the last two uh, video reviews that I've done, I've actually used uh, this mic for my GoPro. Um, whenever you get this uh, mic, you also get some uh, some uh, wind wind sock, as what I would call it, or a dead cat saying so. But basically, it's a filter for like saying so when you have like all that scratchy wind that comes at you uh, at your camera, and you're trying to pray to God that it doesn't screw up your audio. Well. It comes with that. Um, sadly, it, it fell off, and I have a backup over here somewhere. And uh, I don't use it on the run when I, uh, for the wind mic in my GoPro. Um, usually, uh, when I'm running around, it really doesn't matter because of how fast I'm going. So most likely, it's going to slip off. So um, I highly recommend that you don't use like the the dead cat or saying so your wind filter on your uh, on your mic when you're using like the Hero 2 uh, for this. Um, you actually can't do this setup. On the Hero One, I know you can do it on the Hero Three, but you have to get an attachment and uh, put on your uh, USB uh, your USB port, which kind of makes it super long. If that makes sense to you guys. Um, so what happens is that instead of it just being right about right here, something like that, it actually comes out to be as far as this. So I don't know if you guys care for that, but I can guarantee you that with this type of mic, you actually. Uh, you actually get better audio quality than what you get on the Hero 3. Um, that includes the Silver Edition and the Black Edition. Um, the White Edition, I'm unsure, but I've heard that the White Edition has the same audio quality as the Silver Edition and the Black Edition from what I've been listening to. Now, once again, the price for the uh, Edutige uh, mic, the ETM-001, is about $40. Um, I actually just checked eBay, and it's about... 32 to 40 dollars, so that's actually a pretty good price. Um, most of the time, you can't actually get this in the United States. They come from South Korea or the United Kingdom. Don't expect your uh, your shipment to come in for this thing in the next day or two. But I'm pretty sure, uh, compared to like ordering it from China, um, it'll actually be a lot quicker just because both countries are, you could say, a democratic state, but it's a lot more of a free state compared to China. Where you know, when you try and ship something from China, you go through a lot of customs. From South Korea or United Kingdom, for some odd reason, they're a lot faster so if you order from the United Kingdom or South Korea that's actually a big plus for you if you, can, if you can get the thing in the United States that's perfect for you that would be a major plus for you I'd actually uh, I'd actually try and see if I can get another one sometime soon just for my uh, t3i so I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering how did I rig up my mic in my uh, hero 2 uh, basically what I did was is that I drilled a hole over here and I made sure and I bought another case for my hero 2 just in case I screwed up and I uh, hit somewhere right up here but I kinda made sure that I uh, drilled over here and actually this this hole over here was actually made for another mic it was like the Sony uh, Sony mic originally you could get like a fake one for like fifteen dollars but now it's kinda hard to find so I prefer this anyhow because the fake mics uh, that are from Sony or the fake mics from China uh, they don't tend to last like mine lasted for like two months and then it started to make some like weird noises in it like it was like some uh, noises that like when it's uh, starting to tear up in your hero too like saying so when you input your mic it makes this weird sound saying so uh, and that's what it kind of did it kind of went in out in out in out that's what happened with the thing so uh, yeah uh, drilled a hole and then put this mic in and there you go so as you can see that's the uh, this, uh, that's how big the mic 
uh, kind of sticks out from the GoPro. Uh, my old mic, the Sony mic that I had was about this, uh, about this much, but it could fold either side. Um, and, and it was about, oh, it was about this, t uh, this tall on the side of the GoPro. Um, it was actually kind of a BB target for a lot of people. Um, I'm pretty sure I heard a lot of clinks, clinks, and I still called my hits on it just because, you know, it kind of, it also kind of hit my helmet right over here somewhere, somewhere right around there, so it kind of didn't matter, but still, um, getting hit, your mic hit by a BB is not fun. With this thing, I have actually yet to find uh, any BB marks. This is probably just because it's kind of a metalish construction. I don't know if it's steel or aluminum, but it's kind of a metal construction around, around there, um, but... Uh, with it, I'm pretty sure uh, I'm pretty sure it's a very good mic. Um, it's actually very loud too. It picks up a lot of things that it shouldn't be, and it's picking up a lot of decibels. So this is David from Asian with Hat signing off. If there's any questions that you guys need, please just leave it in the comments down below. And uh, links will be in the description for this thing. I'll probably just send a, a link of the uh, search that I had on eBay so that you guys can get your unlimited list of the uh, ETM-001. Like I said, any questions, uh, leave it in the comments down below. Uh, this is David from Asian with Hat, and I'll see you guys in the next video.